Hi, how you doing, everyone? I hope you are doing great. For me, I am doing fine. Thank you so much. For today's lesson, we still go away from the spelling rule of the past participle. But you remember, for the previous video, you study two rules. But now we are going to study two more rules of past participle spelling. Okay? Now. Let's go. Rule number three. Rule number three. So you can read all together. Verbs ending in a CVC. As you all remember, CVC means C is a consonant, V is a vowel, and C is a consonant. This is the CVC pattern, right? Verbs ending in a CVC, you have to double the last consonant and then plus ed. Before adding ed to the verb ending in a CVC, you have to double the last consonant. So which one is the last consonant? Consonant number one a vowel and then this is the last consonant so in case that you double do not double the first consonant okay double the last consonant and then add ed don't forget it okay now let's take a look at the example hug the hug hug okay hug h u g so you gotta see C H. So U is one of the V, one of the vowel, and then G is the last consonant. So before adding E D to the verb, we have to follow the rule. Okay? Try to double the last consonant and then you add E D. You have past participle spelling rule the correct spelling rule of the past participle okay now what do we have h u g so we have to double h or you have to double one more g h is not the last consonant okay so which one is the last consonant look at the word g is the last consonant so before adding ed to the verb you have to add one more g i mean double one more g and then ed hard okay hard okay plan l is a c a mean consonant a is one of the vowel n is one of the consonant so before you add ed you have to double the final i mean the last consonant which one is the last consonant is n so we have one more n before you add ed planned okay stopped stop t is a consonant o is one of the vowel p is the last consonant so do you just add ed after the word stop immediately no we have to double the last consonant before you add ed you understand if you want to make it into past participle okay now let's ha let, let's have a look stop stop so p is the last consonant we have to double one more p and then ed stopped chat a is a consonant a is a vowel t is the last consonant so no way we forget it okay the ball, the last consonant, E and D. Chat it. Okay, chat it. Chat it. Rob. O is a consonant. O is a vowel. B is a consonant. So before you add ED, you have to follow this rule. Okay? Double the last consonant. Which one is the last consonant? As you see, B is the last consonant. O is not the last consonant, it's the first consonant, okay? 
So you have to double one more B and then ED. You have the right spelling rule of past participle. Are you clear? If you're not clear, try to see again. But do not just see. Also take note. You understand? If you have a pen, a marker, or papers close to you, okay, don't forget, take note. But if, if you don't have it, no problem. Just go to see the video again after that. If, in case that you don't have any problem, it's okay. But in case that you have got a problem, okay, you still not understand about which point, and then you can write down the comment. I will explain you later. You understand? Thank you, see in advance. Now, here we go. Stop. I say, rob. B E D robbed. How about sub? Not shop. Sub. Sub. Not shop. Okay? Sub. S O B. B again. Big. 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 So what do we have? B is a vowel. G is a consonant. So you have to double one more G and then E D. Big. Okay? Very simple. But you have to remember the verb. Understand? Take time. Don't be in a hurry. You cannot, just rem you cannot just remember hundreds of words, thousands of words in only one week or one month or one, you know, like one hour. I don't think it's a good idea for learning, okay? Do not learn like this way. You understand? If you learn this way, you got a problem. Okay? Now, let's go. Stepped. Step. T is a consonant, E is a vowel, P is a consonant. So what do we have now? Before we add ED, what do we have? Double the last consonant. P is the last consonant, stepped. Okay? Thin. Most of the students say thin. Thin is not the verb. Thin is the, is the adjective. No. Thin can be used as an adjective. Thin can be used as a verb. You will learn more. The more you learn, the more you know. Okay? Thin. H. I is a vowel. N is a consonant. So double one more, the last consonant, and then ED. Thinned. Okay? Stir. T. I, a vowel, O is a consonant. Double one, double one more O, and then ED. Stirred. Rap, not rape. Don't confuse about rape. Rap, okay? Just rap. You beg the uh, the fish, okay? And you got the piece of platinum papers, okay? Wrapping papers. You wrap it, not rape. Rap, okay? So, R A P. So we have to double one more P and then go to E D, right? Flip. L is a consonant, I is a vowel, P is a consonant. So before adding ED, you have to double one more P, and then ED, as it normally says. Try to say again and again until you remember. Do not just say, oh, teacher, I understand already. This is only 10 minutes. I understand what you mean. I don't think so. Learning is not like that way, you know. Try to study again and again, again and again, again and again, okay? Not study, just study, okay? Try to study in order to understand and also in order to remember. Study, not just study, right? So, flip and then double P, E, D. Rap, not rob. This one, R, O, B, rob, okay? That one, R, U, B, rap, okay? So, rap. Double one more B and then ED wrapped. Blur. L is a consonant. U is one of the vowel. R is a consonant. So you have to double one more R and then ED. Okay? So this is the ending rule number three. If you're not so sure about it, don't forget, try to see the video again. See again and again until you remember, until you understand it. Okay? Take time to study. Don't be in a hurry. You understand? 
I know most of the students. They just want, you know, they just want to learn within only one month's time or maybe one year's time. You know, they become a teacher of English. They use their English to make money. I don't think so. Learning takes time. You understand? Don't be in a hurry. I should tell you many times. Okay? Takes time, right? Okay. And now, let's go to rule number four. And rule number four, verbs ending in a vowel plus consonant or plus y at ed. So rule number four and rule number two is a little bit the same. But I think it's a, it's a kind of confusion, okay? So in rule number two, the previous rule number two, it says verbs ending in a consonant, okay? Plus Y, before you add ED, you have to change letter Y to letter I, and then add ED to make past participle, okay? But rule number four, verbs ending in a vowel, not a consonant, right? A vowel following by letter Y. So, you don't need to do anything else, okay? Just add ed to the end of the verb. That's it. Do you understand? Once again, the previous rule number two, it says, verbs ending in a consonant following by a letter y, okay? Before adding ed to make past participle, we have to change letter Y to letter I first, and don't forget plus ED at the end of the verb, after changing Y to letter I. Understand? But in rule number four, also talk about verbs ending in a vowel, not in a consonant, right? Following by letter Y, you do not change letter Y to I. Just add ed immediately. You understand? Do you understand, right? So now, for example, obey. So obey. B is a consonant, okay? So that one, e is a vowel. E is a vowel, okay? And y is following by letter e. That's why we do not change letter y to i. We just add ed. We have obeyed. We have obeyed. Okay? Another word, enjoy. O is a vowel. Y is a letter Y at the end. So we do not change letter Y to a letter I before adding ed. Right? So what do we have now? We just add only ed. Okay? The reason is we have got Y at the end, but in front of letter Y, we have a vowel, not consonant, right? So try to be clear, okay? About the two uses, the two spelling, right? Rule number two and rule number four, right? Now let's go. Enjoy, and then we have enjoyed, enjoyed, okay? Palais. Pale, E is one of the vowel, Y, okay, so we have ED at the end, Palate, Palate, okay, destroy, O in front of letter Y, so there is no way to change letter Y to letter I, right, besides adding ED, okay, employed, Wow again, Y after vowel. So we do not change letter Y to letter I. Just add ED. We have employed. Employed. Okay. Stay. A is a vowel. is not consonant. In case that over here is a consonant, we have to change Y to I before adding ED. Right? But here, rule number four says, verbs ending in a vowel. Okay? And then after a while, we have got letter Y. 
So we do not need to change letter Y to letter I. Just add ED to the verb. So we have stayed. Okay. Play. So played. Okay. Now, let's go to the, the other example. Pray. A is a vowel, letter Y. So there is no chain, right? Only plus ED. We have prayed. Portray. 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 So we have got ED at the end. Okay? Portray. Toy. And then toy. O is a vowel. Y is the letter Y. That's why we do not change anything by adding only ED at the end of the verb. Most of the students say toy used as a noun, but toy can be used as a verb. That's why you need to learn more and more. Okay? The more you learn, the more you know. Okay? So let's go to the example. Journey. So journey E is a vowel following by letter Y. So do not change Y to I, but just add ED immediately, right? So we add ED. So journey also uses the verb. Before you know, everybody know that journey uses a noun. Okay, me too. But when you are learning more and more, you are searching more and more, you know, you will, you know, you will see a lot of words that you think, you know, it might happen, you know, it might not happen. For example, like the word handsome, okay? Um, before my teacher told me, handsome is only adjective to describe about the man. Handsome man, you cannot say handsome lady, right? But now, handsome can be used with the lady. Okay, like good looking person, like an attractive person, attractive lady, and something like that. Something that you do, you do think that it is not happen, it happened. So, there will be more to learn. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Spray. A is a vowel. Y following by A, by a vowel. So there is no change beside adding ed so we have sprayed okay annoyed okay o y is not consonant and y o wow and y so we just add ed at the end deploy we have got deployed okay so these are all the two juices of participle spelling rule so we just go to summarize all together again. Rule number three, it says verbs ending in a CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant. You cannot just add ED. Before adding ED, okay, at the verb, so you have to double the last consonant. Okay, before adding ED. The rule says that, right? For example, hug, hug, plan, planned, stop. Stopped, chat, chatted, rub, rubbed, sub, subbed, beg, begged, stepped, stepped, thin, thinned, stir, stirred, wrap, wrapped, flip, flipped, rub, rubbed, flur, up, blur, blur, obey, obeyed, enjoy, enjoyed, Palais, pallet, destroy, destroyed, employ, employed, stay, stayed, play, played, pray, prayed, portray, portrayed, toy, toyed, journey, journeyed, Pr spray, sprayed, annoyed, annoyed, deploy, deploy. Okay, so now we go at the end of the lesson today, okay? But before ending this video, I would like to say thank you very much again and again for all of you are trying to support my Facebook page and YouTube channel, Learning English with TSK. In case you all have any comments, don't forget write down your comments and 
If possible, you can ask me the question, okay? Why or why or why? And after that, I will answer to you through the comment, okay? And on the other hand, I am going to welcome, you know, to um, answer with your comment all the time, okay? So that's all from me today. Please see you next video. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye for now.